Hello and welcome. My name is Kate Helder. I'm a co-founder and director of Mind Heart Connect. We run events and workshops and we're very excited that in 2023, the towards the end of April, Dr. Laurie Layden, who is with me today in Santa Barbara, I've come to her home to be able to get this interview. She's a very busy woman. <laughs> and Laurie is going to be running one of her retreats post our main event that we're holding in Melbourne uh, from the 28th of April to the 30th of April. You would then have one day's rest and then the following day, if this called to you, you would then be able to come and join us in a location that's only about 50 minutes out of Melbourne CBD to be with Laurie and to experience the Grace Process Retreat. So, Laurie, I would love you to just share very briefly some of the Blessings, what's possible with the grace process, whether you're new or old to the work, mm -hmm. uh, what's what's coming up? Mm. Well, first of all, Australia is my home away from home. And since 2017, I've been coming for a month at a time, twice a year uh, to do our work with the foundation, bringing EFT to traumatized communities, which is my life's work and my destiny. Uh, but as a result of a near-death experience I had in 2003, I asked what was the next form of healing that I could bring to the world that would allow us to live a more grace-filled life. And, uh, and I received in a series of meditations something called, we called the grace process, which is literally a formula for how to release your trauma and step into receiving not only the healing, uh, that we're seeking, but to experience our divinity. And uh, I believe that we have two purposes in every lifetime. One is to heal the wound of separation from the divine. And then as we heal the wound of separation from the divine, we find our own divine nature and our own unique divine expression. So this is what I've been helping people do since 2003. And uh, and I'm really excited this year because uh, we'll be using the five stages of embodied grace, which is a new form of work I brought in several years ago. And this is really the heart map for our spiritual journey um, as we move from separation into stirring and surrender and stillness and synergy, which we'll explain more at the retreat. But that's the heart map for moving from one stage to the next in our spiritual journey. And the grace process, really the skills and tools we need to make that leap from one stage um, to the next. And so uh, whether you've been on retreat with us before uh, or you're a new person coming to the retreat, um, the, the, the transformations are endless, really. It's always pleases me to no end to see uh, people who have returned again and again continue to expand their healing and deepen their experience. And when you leave the retreat, you, you will have these tools. We will spend three days hmm. um, on these tools in a deep, deep dive into your own personal experience. Uh, so uh, couldn't be more excited to be doing it in person as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, too, one of the beautiful things with the grace process and the body of work that Laurie does have is the simplicity of the technique yet the depth that's possible through the the not technique through the process is quite profound in 2016 I think it was Laurie invited me to do the grace process mm. online as a six-week course I think at so, that particular mm -hmm. time and I was at the point you know I don't really have time but my heart called me to be able to um, start really dipping my toe into this work and so since the end of 2016 through to now towards the end of 2022 how this body of work has supported me mm -hmm. to navigate challenges multiple challenges throughout my life over the past six years has been just quite profound and for myself and I know for Laurie you want everybody to be able to have what you know to be true and Laurie quite often will say, you know, you can attend all the trainings and workshops, but then if um, you kick the cat because you're annoyed about something, well, maybe your practice isn't working that well. But I know that during the retreats that we hold in person, 
that level of connectedness with others who are there with open hearts and the gifts that come just through that being in an immersion with others is quite profound as well. And the retreat centre out in the Dandenong Ranges, you'll see details about that on the website, is a purpose-built retreat centre. We've got access to some of the most beautiful outdoor spaces as well. It's just positioned on the edge of a state forest. And apart from the work that we'll be doing together, and I know Laurie wanted to talk about the fact that there'll be some one-on-one -on -one work and some group work, there'll be time for reflection as well. And we've just got the most beautiful environment to be able to uh, go and do that and spend that time in. Well, and two things. One is you must have a sense of humor. <laughs> to work to, with Laurie. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is all meant to be, while it's an immersion, it's also meant to be very gentle and, and humorous and an opportunity for us to see ourselves in the other. Uh, and, you know, what I do say is it's time to stop your spiritual practices now <laughs> for those uh, reasons that, that Kate gave and, and do this instead. And this is being able to regulate your physiology so that your heart, your brain, and your body are in full alignment and you have access to all the inner wisdom that you need. And by the end of the three days, uh, you will have had a physiological reset and you'll know how to continue that past the retreat. Beautiful. Super excited. Uh, jump onto the link to find all the details that you need. And uh, we'll look forward to welcoming you in the Dandenong Rangers, 2nd to the 5th of May 2023. See you there.